Hi, uh, my name is Wolf Lin from MediaTek uh, Wi-Fi Connectivity. And uh, this year, we'll introduce you regarding some Wi-Fi 7 technology here, uh, including how we leverage AI to enhance our Wi-Fi performance. And as you know, there are so many, uh, so many industry remain uh, to the AI this year, and all the people are talking about uh, computing is the most important thing. And the second thing is uh, regarding the connectivity. So computing and the connectivity can make the AI experience much better, much better than before. How can AI improve my Wi-Fi? Oh, that's a good question. So you know that in the best time, the networking, Wi-Fi networking, is always do the best effort to, to provide a service on, uh, on Wi-Fi connections. But right now, we have uh, small AI models. Then we could have the uh, environment devices to influence the Wi-Fi behavior. So for example, like for laptop, when you have to upload or downlink a lot of uh, data, we, we could have allowed the uh, AP and the uh, client side uh, to communicate with the maximum speed. But when we have a uh, streaming video kind of things, then we could automatically uh, uh, ju make judgment and make the streaming more uh, smoothly uh, and give you the best QoS service kind of things. And the most important thing is that uh, like a uh, range. When we need a, uh, we, we need a far range uh, for your mobile devices mo most of the time, uh, then you may need, you may need some uh, special uh, technique to make that achieve. So here we are demoing you, you that when we have a mobile phone go into kitchen or to the backyard or even to your restroom, then when you have a, a bad, a bad signal of the radio, then how we make that better based on a software solutions. So here you can see that when we have a AP in the cabinet and we have a distance simulation in the cabinet as well, here we have a two laptop in the short range with the AP. Both the laptop work very well, but the left one, we don't have the extra range technology inside. But in the right side, we have extra range technology. It works both very well, but in the far end, normally we simulate to a very far end, normal Wi-Fi will disconnect for sure. But with this software enhancement, then you can see that left side, when the video buffering run out, then it will stop and disconnected, always loading. But with the extra range enhanced, our connection, we have some trade-off because we know this is a video streaming. We don't need so high speed. We just keep a lower rate, but make the range extend one to two wall longer yeah, than before. Then we make that video very smooth. Uh, do you need to put a Philogic uh -huh. SOC on every device, or only on the AP, or on the laptop, or where do you put it? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, actually, Philogic is our, uh, our brand for Wi-Fi solutions. So Mediate Philogic means all the solution of Wi-Fi, especially Wi-Fi 7. So we have a Wi-Fi AP and a Wi-Fi client solutions in all of these devices. We have solution for laptop, for a mobile phone, for tablet, Chromebook, even the Wi-Fi on TV. So, so they can all leverage this technology to enhance the Wi-Fi performance. So they all need to have Philogic AI? Each ah. one need to have it for this to work? Or uh, mm -hmm. only the AP need it and it's uh -huh. enough? Uh, some, uh, this is uh, this is our uh, our goal to improve. So based on this goal, we we miss a lot of different technologies. So some of the technology we can adapt by one side and get the benefits. But for some technologies, you may need end-to-end -end solutions. Both AP and client MediaTek biology solution that you can have the best enhancements. Yeah, for example, like range to extra range 2.0, then this is the end-to-end -end solution. You need AP and client to support it, and you can have one to two wall, yeah, more range, extend. Yeah. Because Wi-Fi is amazing, it's just for micro ovens, no? Uh -huh. It was designed for micro ovens, mm -hmm. but these guys, the technology guys, figure out to use it so much, and yeah. now you can just continue to improve what you can do with it. Yes, yes. For many, many years in the future, it will still have a strong connection. Indeed, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. We, we, we know that Wi-Fi now is the most connectivity technologies ever. The reason is that we can tell within the old electronic devices, Wi-Fi has the most attached rate. 
the most of them are for a compare with any other connectivity technologies. So Wi-Fi is one of the mandatory connectivity te uh, technology for every devices. Yeah. Is this part of Wi-Fi 7 or you improve on top of Wi-Fi 7? Uh, we improve on top of Wi-Fi 7 here, we show you. But actually, this can adapt to Wi-Fi 6, 5 as well. Yeah. Just we adapt onto Wi-Fi 7 first because it is the newest uh, standard of the Wi-Fi. Do each device need to speak with each other to say, hey, I'm a laptop, hey, I'm a... No. Where? It's just figure no. out without... Uh, most intelligent coming from the AP side because we know the packet behavior. For example, like a video streaming is continue, continually have a packet standing in, in the same timer. Yeah, so we, we know, oh, here's a, a typical timer, but oh, oops, it, it dropped. So we know maybe he needs some help. So we can automatically adjust and change our Wi-Fi behavior on this laptop. Would you say it would make sense to use other uh, spectrum? Other spectrum? Oh, yeah. Would it make sense to use a 800 megahertz or something together uh -huh. with the Wi-Fi? Uh -huh. What do you think? Oh, that's a really a huge question. That's a big one. Uh, because people are talking about 8, mega, 8, 8, big per sec, uh, 8 gigahertz, and also some people are talking about microwave, 60, uh, 60 gigahertz. Um, I have to say, these are complementary uh, technologies, but uh, some might not be mandatory, depends on the user scenario. If you are in home environment, maybe today, uh, tri-band is good enough. Yeah. Because uh, another thing I think is sad is that in the world there's a billions of Wi-Fi hotspots, but they all have passwords. Uh -huh. But I want people to share them with everybody. Uh, but with there everybody. needs to be a system uh -huh. automatically to connect, uh -huh. but without slowing down my internet, you know? Mm. It should be like what I don't use, other people can use yeah, automatically. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know? Does yeah. that make sense? Uh, kind of that, but that will be uh, in in public domain, that means, makes sense. So we have some different solutions for enterprise AP or some AP for stadium, uh, then that could support like 100 user commissions all together concurrently. But uh, the AP could, uh, could uh, tell uh, uh, the, the active uh, client side then give the client side more traffic. Yeah, yeah that makes sense, yeah. Because they call it the public SSID or something, right? Yeah. On the, many routers have a public and a yes. private. Yes. But I wonder if this AI will help better manage the public one. So, uh, so everybody should deploy okay. <laughs> yes. public Wi-Fi. You know? uh, yes or no? I have, to, I have to say that here you can see I show a little AI here because we are not, use, we are not adding extra APU or MPU, we just leverage uh, existing CPU to do a very uh, a small model of the AI. So we can deal with the small environment, no problem. But if you want to deal with that huge public domain, uh, doable, but then we need more power, computing power. So that might make the system more competitive. So maybe that's for future, but today's solution, we are more focusing on uh, private network, public network, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool.